Hey, a fam, check us out. So today we are recording at a very beautiful Spiritualist Association Park Camp Learning Center, a few different things. So welcome, I'm Mags, come on in. I'm gonna set this up right here, bear with me here. Got birds going nuts right behind me. I brought some cards and I am in between travels uh, today. So welcome to my channel if it's your first time. Uh, if you're rejoining me, welcome back again. I've got a few decks of cards. We're going to get right into it. This morning was filled with several different obstacles. Uh, so I feel like with it still being retrograde, I'm not the only one going through this. This could be going on with the collective. However, just so you know, as irritating as it may be, collective, you're going to blow through them just fine with ease and with gusto, more importantly with success. So what's coming in spirit? Let's go ahead and get into prayer. These are really sacred holy grounds. I've actually lit uh, three candles in the uh, prayer garden, which I might take you guys over there afterwards. I think that'd be a great way to just kind of end uh, the energy to this reading here. But uh, let's go ahead and get into prayer. Father God, Holy Spirit, ancestors and guardian angels, thank you for rising us up out of our bed this morning. And thank you for connecting me with you. Glory to the most high, for we are nothing without you forever and ever, amen. Spirit, I ask that you use me for clear, concise, true messages for the greatest and highest good of my viewer for their ultimate abundance, sustenance, joy, love, healing, and everything in between. What's the overall energy message that I need to give for my viewer, please? Two crows are flying over right now. Number two, partnership team, collaboration. Tell me when. There it is. Good news. Good news is coming your way. Something beautiful is about to manifest. Feelings of elation, like you're on a cloud. It's time to celebrate all of the wonder and the beauty in your life. I love that energy for you, Collective. All right, so that's what we're starting with. Good news is on the way. Let's break it down a little bit more. Uh, this is a brand new tarot deck for me, so Let's see what messages we can get in from spirit. Let me go ahead and shuffle a couple of times here on camera. It is so stinking nice out. So I would advise you if, if it's nice in your area, it's been raining here for three days straight, really gloomy and one of those like misty type rains where it rains all day. And I can't stand that. It's just like, ugh, right? And so today it's really, really beautiful. I'm in the sun. We're soaking up that divine energy, divine source, that uh, vitamin D. That energy is so pure and re-energizing and regenerative. So good news. What's coming in for the collective, please, spirit? What do I need to relay, please? Come through me. Clear, concise, true messages. Someone is getting a new puppy in the next couple of weeks. And I feel like it's unexpected. So congratulations on that. You're going to adore it. You're going to adore this little dog. This dog is going to be very close with you. Okay. The star. Massive healings and upgradings going on in your experience right now. I feel like you're also healing relationships with very vital people in your life. Maybe one or two relationships that have been lifelong relationships with you. I feel like you're also um, reconciling that relationship on your own. Uh, one in particular, I feel like you're coming to terms with maybe what faults you had, what faults this person had. I feel like this actually may be a friendship of some type. Yeah, I feel like you have lost a friend of many, many years or you've been out of communication with this friend. This friend could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or this is the Aquarius card. This person has really direct communication with you. I feel like that's maybe what shook you a little bit. I also feel like your communication shook this person as well. And that's not something that normally happens to them. I feel like this person does not get shook by other people's communication because that's their specialty. Does that make sense? Okay. Thank you. What do we have here? Luxury. Four of Cups. There's an upgrade to your energy. I feel like 
you've upgraded your spiritual energy, your worth, your value, your sense of self, your self-love. This is really taken off. Uh, and you are now in a much higher vibration that is creating a energy of luxury, of class. Whether or not you have money, assets, anything like that. Spirit is acknowledging that it doesn't matter. It's your energy that, that represents this. Okay? I love that for you. Kudos. Kudos, collective. What else do we have coming in for, for my collective, please? Thank you. The Aeon card. This talks to about all, sh all chakras are completely lit up and aligned, my friends. I'm going to take you guys over. I'm going to take a tour of, of just this, these grounds really quick here at the end of this video just to kind of show you the energy and the vibe of what I'm picking up on in this very sacred grounds right now that I'm on. These grounds have been preyed on and protected so many times. There's so much history here with this. And the fact that we're getting this card, this is speaking to previous lifetimes of yours. I'm hearing aeons ago. Aeons ago. Do you know who you are? Do you know who you are, love? <laughs> you might think you're a nobody this lifetime, but oh, baby, those previous lifetimes. Oh, no, no. I'm hearing showstopper. There was something about your previous life, at least, at least one previous life of yours, where you had some type of notoriety, royalty, fame, you did something that truly changed the world, that impacted the world, that impacted your community, not just your family. There's something here with that. Oh. Okay, I, ju I just saw an orb come through. I hope that got picked up on camera. I just heard um, legion of angels. Legion of angels. Why am I hearing legion of angels? I've never heard that term in any reading before. A legion of angels, an army of angels. I'm hearing Bjork's army of me. Stand up. <laughs> There's something with that song. You may want to look into the lyrics of that song, Bjork, army of me. That song was also a theme song in the movie Sucker Punch. Uh, there may be a, oh, that's interesting. Okay, so collective, you may have just quite literally been energetically sucker punched by spirit or by some type of uh, demonic force or uh, even an enemy of yours that energetically set some ill will towards your way. It was a sucker punch. It was an unfair uh, attack on you. Spirit is acknowledging that. But the truth is, is we got the emperor card here. That's why. You're the emperor, the empress. That's why you're getting unfair treatment. People know your power. They know who you are. Because you've been around for aeons with your legion of angels, your legion of army. Army of me. Bjork. Very interesting. You know, the, the statues that are behind here that I'm going to show you folks, these are from all different parts of the world, all different time frames of the world's history. And each one of these was a prophet of some type. And I love that I'm on the other side of this brick wall. Almost as if I'm standing behind a fortress, which I will show you when we, when we go take this quick tour here. I feel as if I'm, I'm sitting amongst emperors with my own energy. I feel like that is your energy as well. You are in good company. I'm feeling the sun on this card heavily. It is raising your vibration and your temperature. Your, your inner, your inner uh, temperature is rising. Phoenix rising out of the ashes. There's something here with this. The heat is picking up immensely. I love that for you. It's getting heated after being ice cold. I feel ice is melting, my friends. So what is that, huh? What is, what is, what is this about the ice melting? Yeah, we just had the swiftness card pull out. This is happening very quickly, might I add. This shift is astronomical. We also are having a full moon this week. So this energy uh, is going to really cycle itself out. And also retrograde should be over within the next couple of weeks as well. 
Okay, so there's a, it's a very swift moving energy, just like an emperor would do. I would imagine any emperor that wanted to take control over a kingdom or a situation would not only not ask for permission, but show up and handle it. Correct? Correct. You're handling your business. Cruelty. What I tell you, you had a sucker punch energetically to you. Someone has been very cruel to you. Previously, and I feel like there's someone in particular right now in your experience being cruel to you. This may be behind the scenes, but you know what's going on. Your gut, your intuition is telling you that. I feel that for you. Uh, just know. Oh, my ear started ringing on that. Thank you. Thank you, Spirit. Just know whoever's trying to deliver this cruelty it's going to come back on them like a mirrored reflection. They're about to get, <laughs> they're walking right into it. Oy. What else for my collective please, spirit? Come through me. Use me for the grace and highest good of the, of the viewer watching this video, please. Knight of Wands. Yeah, it's like you're getting your uh, your passion back, your inspiration back. There's a new drive to want to move forward in very various areas of your life, of your experience. Dog just barked. There's a lot of loyalty with this as well. This is loyalty to yourself. Loyalty to coming back around and, and taking initiative for yourself, y'all after being treated poorly. What else, Spirit? Thank you. Power, what I tell you about your personal power, okay? This is the power card. 12-12 on the clock right now. The personal power you have over your spirituality, over your gifts, over your person, over the people that you're able to influence is immense currently, okay? I'm connected with people that wear their heart on their sleeve and it's viewed as power though, and there's power in that. I feel like I'm connected with people who were always told to suppress their emotions or to be quiet. Uh, and now you're realizing the personal power in not being quiet, in wearing your emotions on your sleeve. I'm, I keep seeing like a uniform with a thing on the arm here. There's something about your emotions on your sleeve or your energy being a little bit more um, outwardly and more influential. Final messages, spirit. Thank you. Failure in the reverse. Wow. Wow. Talk about taking control, baby. You hear that lawnmower in the background cutting through the BS? Yes, we're doing it. We all fail. This life and this experience is about how you handle failure, how you rebound. You're going to fail thousands and thousands of times in your life. If you don't believe that, then honey, you're in for a very rude awakening. Let me tell you. Michael Jordan had 9,000 failed missed shots in his career, and he's still revered as one of, if not the best basketball player of all history. Correct? 9,000 missed shots. Princess of Wands. You're taking control you're really owning into your divine feminine energy as well. I feel like maybe there is something here, um, and this is whether you're masculine or feminine here. There's something here with an adolescent type of divine feminine energy that's really near and dear to your heart. I feel like this is back when you were a teenager yourself. Maybe that energy was mis misconstrued. If you're a masculine, maybe you only identified with masculinity and you were like really anti into feelings or something. If you were a feminine, maybe when you were a teenager, there was something here about you had to come from the ashes and rise. Uh, this is someone who's very articulate, intelligent, attractive, successful, outgoing, a go-getter. This person has a lot of energy, a lot of really positive energy as well. You could have fire in your chart or be dealing with a Sagittarius Leo Aries. We now have the moon card in the reverse. So this is talking about something is majorly about to be shown. 
uh, tenfold to you. I feel like this has been an illusion of some point. Some type of trigger has purposely been hidden from you. You're only being able to view it as a trigger. The problem is, is it's not a trigger and the, and spirit's about to show you, uh, maybe just how your perception has slightly been off. I feel like there's a little bit of tweaks and adjustments going on right now, which is absolutely necessary. Um, think of like you put a table together and now you got to really screw the final screws in as hard as you can to make sure that table is steady. It'll still be a table, but if you push it, it'll rock. Okay. I feel like that may have been your energy. If you just push, it'll be a little rock. It'll still be a, uh, still be a table. It'll still stand up, but we got to screw those screws in all the way tight. So it's solid. The type of table where if there was an earthquake or a tornado, you would hide under it, right? In case anything were to fall. Do you get where I'm going here? Are you following me? Sturdy. You're sturdy. You're, you're moving into a very sturdy energy. Thank you, Jesus, for Taurus season. All right, what else? Yeah, there it is, pleasure. I can't make it up. Taurus is all about luxury and pleasure, baby. Okay, that is so Taurian energy all day. More importantly, that's a hierophant. That's spirit. Spirit wants you to live in luxury and pleasure with yourself, with your experience, with the people that you collaborate with, with the spiritual gifts that you've been um, blessed with. And more importantly, you have a lot of pleasure headed straight for you, whatever that may look like, my friend. Final messages, anything else? I'm gonna pull one more from my Oracle deck to wrap this up. Final message from my tarot deck spirit, anything else? Wow. The tower. And then we had science behind it. This is actually the six of swords. This is about leaving the past behind. Anything that no longer serves you. Belief patterns, communication patterns, habits, people that are truly stuck and not woke. And like you just have, you feel like you have to keep them in your life because they're family or something like that. If these people ain't woke, honey, don't waste your time. If you've been an influence around these people for many, many years, or you've been trying to talk to them for many years, it's like you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make it drink, right? Beating a dead horse will get you nowhere, friends. It'll get you nowhere. So, bottom of the deck, we had indolence in the reverse, which is eight of cups. So, yeah, this is like really not walking away from yourself anymore, not walking away from um the loyalty to yourself to your being to your person right really being committed to your self-care your personality your goals your dreams final message spirit on this one final message anything else anything else thank you peace peace love, happiness, and joy. I pray this for you. Receive it. You got good news on the way, my friend. Spirit's backing it up with this reading. Don't forget, good news is coming your way. Something beautiful is about to manifest. Feelings of elation, like you're on a cloud. It's time to celebrate all of the wonder and the beauty in the world. Final message from the Oracle deck. And then I'm going to do a quick tour. You guys have got to see this. This is such a beautiful place. If you ever come to Chesterfield, Indiana, check out this, uh, this camp. It's the Spiritualist Association of Indiana. I came to a spirit fest here randomly. I went to a uh, metaphysics store here in the area and they had a sign on the door saying they were at spirit fest and I'd never even heard of that. And I ended up finding this, this beautiful park and grounds last summer. And I just, it's wow. It's such a blessing to have found this place. Final message spirit. Anything else you want my viewer to know before we do a tour? Thank you. Message from afar. Message coming from afar. Expect positive and refreshing news. A great outcome for all. On top of good news, you're getting a message about very, very good news. This could be a message from long distance or something to that magnitude. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to put my cards away really quick here. Thank you for joining me as always. But let me just show you a couple of things here. I'm not going to talk during this. I want you to take it as it resonates. Pray, meditate, take screenshots, whatever you want to do, y'all. Okay. But I'm going to show you some of these other prophets. Jesus was not the only prophet. I'm sure you are well aware, right? So I want to just kind of show you some of, some of these beautiful grounds and um, 
you know, part of grounding is going to new locations, going to uh, new sources of information, things that might help you feel a little bit different. So we've got Zeus, Greek myth, 19, or 950 BC, Muhammad, 569 AD, Abraham, 1898 BC, Zoroaster, 1000 BC, Osiris, the sun, 4000 BC, Lao Tse, 604 BC. I can't read this very well, but I think it says Gautama, which was a Buddhist. Unfortunately, the years are gone, but that's, that's the Buddha. Confucius, Confucianism, 551 BC. And lastly, Vardhama, Vardhamana, Jainism, <laughs> I'm not saying that right, 849 BC. So this is like the Hall of Prophets right here. I did not forget the center one. Jesus Christ. Faith, hope, charity, and Christianity. Welcome to the Hall of Prophets. I'm going to take you one more place. You know, the Playboy Mansion has a grotto. <laughs> I'm sure everyone's familiar, right? We're going to go from the Hall of Prophets talking about the Playboy Mansion and the, the grotto and everything. But here there's a grotto. At least that's what I call it. And it's called the Garden of Prayer. And it is a very sacred little cave almost that they have built in the side of this hill. There are angel statues everywhere on this property. And regardless if you have something like this by your house or if you need to go drive somewhere or travel, going to these places is such a great way to reconfirm your faith, to reground, regroup. This is nowhere near where I live, but I went to a, a town a few hours away today and this is on the way back home. So welcome to the Garden of Prayer. Those three candles are mine. In nome Patre, e Fili, e Spiritu Santi. Peace, love, and light.